Welcome to the last ever custom steelbook to be shown on this channel with the step-by-step uh, -step instructions because this was a uh, disliked formula, format form, and thing from the, uh, you, the viewers. I will still continue to do this just because I like them and I like seeing my designs come to life. I just won't show the step-by-step -step things. It'll just be... The ending will be like kind of like a uh, Art of the Steel, where you just see the end result. So, no real loss. I just decided that. I actually shot this video. It took me three months. I pulled a Patreon uh, person. It took me three months to do the video. I shot first half in September. Then my printer ran out of ink. Then I went and bought the ink. I printed it. And I let the stuff sit throughout the entire month of October, waiting for me to cut it. No real reason, it's just I knew no one really cared, and I was just doing this for me. So I just sat around and waited until nothing other to do. So, and I started recording this, uh, the original, at the beginning of it. Before I saw how much hate I was actually getting for the other one. You know, negative comments, downvotes, all that stuff. So, now I'll get to the actual video. And funny thing enough, I actually already recorded this. And the audio and everything, but my phone didn't record the audio. So, second had the charm. Three, two, one, let's go. So, here I am opening the thing. I was actually going to shoot it this way throughout the whole thing. And I moved it. You can tell I actually the tripod now because I actually finally got it back from the hotel. I left it in. It's another Fast and the Furious one, obviously, because this one is really easy. Somebody actually called me in the middle of making this. So, yeah, I actually had popped it off beforehand. And because of the heat, because it's so hot outside, I actually would have bend it back in. So this one doesn't have the problem of the bad uh, bent, just like the last one did. And now I'm going to paint them. The, spot, the solid color is going to be yellow this time around, even though afterwards I did change my mind and decided to put the outside, at least the front half, to be black. And, not so pro tip, just a tip in general. If you are going to do this, don't let it sit for too long and or, uh, you know, pick it up a little bit because you will, you may get, like, you want to have it flat because if you paint underneath of it, the paint will actually stick to the paper, to the steelbook on the top outside. It didn't stick last time. I just left it too long, sit it too long for this one. So you will need to uh, have, like, some kind of alcoholic stuff to wipe off the paper to get it off so it will be flat. But hey, it's a learning progress. Like, even here you can see I made a little, a little black piece by accident. I didn't notice it. I thought the paint was just going to leak in. But the sticker does cover that. See, I'm gonna sh I went back and decided to show you how to do it because I, uh, the person called me in the middle. See, just that simple. And then you use the knife to bend it back into place. If it's hot, if you have it, if make, but you might want to have it hot a little bit because that will bend the steel metal better. Sorry. And see, here's my ear where I found out my mistake. The, uh, I left it sit for two days. And there, see, alcohol swab to uh, get the newspaper off. Because, whoops. But as I said in the last video, I am not an expert. I never claimed to be. So, don't be like me and... Make sure to pull it off fast, or at least have it flat. 
technically, since it's going to be on the inside, you can, uh, out, so you can put, a, like, a rock or something in the middle and paint around that, because it doesn't matter, because you're, in the, inside, you can have a sticker inside, or a label inside, so you don't really need to worry about the, uh, inside being perfect on it. That's why that one little black part I didn't care about too much when I found out about it later when I put this video together originally. And when I went back to actually uh, put the sticker in, I saw the black part. That's Archie, my bird. After a while, I do say screw it and just hit pause and do it a lot myself without you guys seeing it and just paint and then come back and paint. I just don't know how long that was. It shouldn't be that long because this video is only, like, let's pull up the time, 12 minutes long. It's already at four minute mark, so just stick with me. Honestly, I own, like, 10 Fast and Furious 6s. I have never watched a Fast and Furious movie, ever. I've only seen Hobbs and Shaw. This is just the cheapest steelbook. So, yeah, as I'm showing the thing, I was thinking about, hey, you're going to need that to get all the paper off. Because, see, I did get a lot of paper off. See, paper. Pause, flip, new sheet, or old sheet just turned over. I didn't want the sticky stuff to uh, be stuck on there. You want it to be smooth, that's what I was think probably what I was thinking at the time. Because I do the audio after the fact. The camera was off foot for some reason. I don't ask me why. At least in these openers. Make sure it's smooth when you're done with that. You can actually hear the effing, can effing clock that I always talk about in my collection videos. And yeah, it's windy, you want to have something to hold it down. on a computer. There's my uh, ugly mug. This is going to be in the, I was gonna put this in the link at the bottom, it's just a template, it's a blank black template of the steelbook on it, you can put whatever you want on there. I might do that if I think about it. And that's when I found out my print, my, my printer was uh, out of ink. It was able to print the first sheet. Well, first my printer screwed up a lot. It kept on getting jammed. And this looked like crap. Look at that white streak on it. It got even worse towards the end. I just crumpled this up and threw it away. But I printed new ones. Here is October's video. See how the print is all black? There we go. It's inside. The yellow. The Pika parts. Scissors. Cut, you have to cut them out apart, obviously. And you want to get close and close to the edge. Even though it's on this one, you can see the white part on the one side, on the one piece that I forgot. I thought, oh, well, just screw it. But when you click it in, it actually hides it. And obviously you can uh, put, you can take the spine off. It's just uh, a lot more work and I don't really care that much. You have to like peel it off with like a scalpel and heat, and you gotta buy another spine. It ain't worth it to me. I can just put a sticker over it. Yeah. 
And the bloody thing wasn't going back in. There we go. I just wasn't putting it in right. Blank yellow on the outside and peak on the inside. And as you can see, if you look in the corner where Pika's mouth is, there is no uh, white spot. Because why? The plastic covers it up. You just put the sticker on top of it, that's what I suggest. See how that showed you can do that, but I didn't do I don't do that. Like showed the little knife. See, just sticker. There I am showing that the uh, screw up parts there. And now for the outside. That's what it is. And it's on. And see how I redid the outside because I thought the it, it would look nicer with the black on the outside. Or at least the uh, top. The corners and the side, like the edges, are still yellow. But, you know, Pikachu's colors are black and yellow. You know, his ear and the stripes on his tail. or his, Actually, his back's brown. Sometimes it's black on the cartoon, sometimes it's brown, but they always say black and yellow is Pikachu's color, so it works. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to gloss it. Now, another not-so-pro tip, but still a good tip to follow. Make sure the air is out of the, sti of the sticker. Like, make sure you flatten it down like a credit card or something. Because when I did this, see how the air is starting to form like on Pikachu's uh, arm? I didn't see that when I was originally painting. I had to go back in with a credit card afterwards and do that, but at that point, the label had already been, uh, has damage onto it. So, make sure you get all the air out of the label. Once again, I am just doing this, this is the only second one I've ever done in real life. So, I am learning as I go. See, I uh, read to the top, I hand the top black, so that would blend better. I gotta redo it a little better, but you know, that's just gone on long enough. This uh, charade of me continuing doing this uh, custom steel books for the internet. I gotta go back on and redo the uh, outline of the borders. But other than that, it should be looks fine enough to me. And that's all that matters. I'm the only one looking at it. Thanks for watching. And make sure to leave your uh, negative comments down below because I know it's what you're going to be doing. And have a good one. And yeah. That was audio I made when I made that one because I actually was alone at the time. Oh yeah. Here. There. So the... Uh, shine to go off because this is now shiny because of the uh, paint that went on top of it. Oh. Yeah, see? I'm going to mention again the air bubbles that you have to get out. Because if you don't get it out, it will be permanent to it. Like, the, the steel book is flat. When you pull your hand over it, it feels flat. But when you shine light on it, you can see the uh, where the bubbles used to be. So, as I, as I said before, do that. And I mentioned the negative tips because I was recording this. That was when I was depressed and I got got done deleting like three comments about saying how I should never do these again or I should quit YouTube and all kind of craps. And I just said, screw it. Deleted the comments and got on my life. But, you know, these do take a while to do. So, instead of just filming all this and getting the camera ready, setting the tripod up and all that, I can just show it off as an art of the steel type thing. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Would I ever continue this? Meh. Like, honestly, maybe, but I highly doubt it, because I'm pretty sure this will probably get just as much hate as the last one. So, have a good one. What would you think of the design? And do you think it's better than the real one that came out at Best Buy? Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.